Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. That's Emory Hunt, the Zara to Playbook, and I'm Tyler Merkovich, and we're bringing you the Division II National Championship Preview. We have the Northwest Missouri Bearcats versus the Grand Valley State Lakers, two seed versus three seed from Florence, Alabama here, and they have a running back the Bearcats do with LaRon Council, over 215 yards versus Cal. PA, Jake Soy, three touchdowns, a wide receiver, and Sean Paddock, one of the defensive players, set the school program record with 27 sacks. Give me your keys to victory for the Bearcats. Well, this is going to come down to a matchup between both offensive lines. Can the Bearcats offensive line be able to withstand the pressure coming from the Lakers defensive front? They're going to have to control the line of scrimmage. That's number one. Two, LaRon Council is going to have to have another huge day. That's going to be the key to victory for these guys because you look at, they played in their, fifth, this is their fifth straight championship game appearance, mm -hmm. which is impressive. The first team to ever do that. Um, they haven't won any. Like the Buffalo Bills, the early right. 90s. Right, <laughs> exactly. They haven't won any, so they're going to really have to control the line of scrimmage and control the ball with the running game. That's going to open up play. And those are the keys to victory for the Bearcats. And the Lakers, another team that ran the ball well last weekend. 6.6 .6 yards per carry versus Carson Newman. They dominated, dominated time of possession, and they went up 27-14 that half and put it away in the second half. Problem is with the Lakers, seven penalties for 70 yards. They need to stay disciplined against the Northwest Missouri squad, but what are your keys to victory for the Lakers, one of the most storied programs in Division II history? Same rules apply, defensive line matchup against offensive line. Can their old line be able to withstand the line of the Bearcats? So this game really is going to be won on the offensive line. You look at the backup running back, number two, backup running back coming in, P.T. Gates did an outstanding job, 187 yards rushing, Phenomenal. He's going to need another repeat performance as well, too. I think the Lakers have a better quarterback as well. He's a really good... It's plus, and plus, they run the spread, which is phenomenal. They run it to perfection. So, I'm going to take Grand Valley State in this game. Two key to, 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 stats in this matchup. You look at 05 and 06. They beat Northwest Missouri State in the championship game. Northwest Missouri State won the quarterfinal matchup in 07. Plus, they're 0-4 in championship games. I'm going to have to side with history. I'm going to go with the Lakers. Well, it's an understatement to say that the Lakers have had the Bearcats' number. I'm going to go with the Lakers also. They just have that aura about them. And you mentioned that spread. That's going to be tough to stop, especially with only a week's preparation for the Bearcats. And, and LaRon Council for the Bearcats is a phenomenal. will be an NFL draft pick. For more, visit footballgameplan.com slash division2.